Number two, the pressure from members of national government, some few elites, leaders, some few leaders of political parties, the deputy speaker of this honorable house, before God, I want to say they are misleading our MCS. Thank you. Governor, it go to the extent that even in the performance of your official duties, you are threatened and barred from performing that which you are allowed to do under the Constitution. Is that true? Yes. Can we watch KMV6 and tell us where you are, what you're doing, and what happened? You can pause there for a minute. We see you clearly there, Honorable Governor, and there is a young gentleman speaking. Tell us what he's saying and what you are doing in that event and exactly where you are. That is an event done by the county government of Meru. The county assembly passed a budget for us to take care of the disadvantaged mamas in our community. And that program is dubbed as one cow per one poor family. We go around the villages. We have a committee to vet and see the most vulnerable person in that certain area. We take a cow to the area and give or donate as government to that particular person that has been vetted by a committee. That includes the area chief. Thank you. So this is not part of your Korea program for clarity purposes? This is not part of my Korea program. My Korea program we usually do on Sunday afternoon, and this is an official duty, a program that has county government employees and done purely by the county government of Meru. One cow per one poor family. Was there any commotion or violence uh, in that event? There was no commotions. We started with the prayers, as you can see, and we went silently, we not even advertise. Those are just the neighbors that saw what is happening and came just to see. You confirm this was in the home state of one of the poor married women? It is in the home state of the beneficiary. Thank you. Can we watch that clip again from the beginning all through to the end? <laughs> So, Madam Governor, this is an official function of the head of the county. Why are the police disrupting your function? 
the same, same leaders. Doesn't specifically mention the leader that understands him, but now the influence from the national leaders led to this. So were you able to complete your donation on that day? I was not able to complete because it was stopped. And then when they said that we leave, we tried to explain. After three good hours, in that vehicle, when people came, surrounded the vehicles, that is the time the officer said that it was a mistaken identity. Mistaken identity. But isn't the officer calling you by your title when he comes? Yes, he's calling me Governor Kuja. Governor Kuja. You actually pleaded with him to allow you to finish. We have 10 minutes here, kuja, kuja. And everyone was dispersed. Everyone was, was dispersed. That was, if I'm not wrong, a day or two before the impeachment. Can you remember the actual date? I think a day before impeachment. A day before impeachment. And so, that clip is not complete cancel. Yes. I think we've not heard the officer saying as to why he had come to arrest me. You can tell us because you are present. We may not have the benefit of the full video, but kindly, because it is a first-hand experience. Tell us the explanation you got from the officer as to why he was seeking to interrupt your official function. The officer was the area OCS, and then when people came in big numbers, the other buses came along, and then he was asked to allow me to go, and then he also apologized before everyone that it was a mistaken identity, and I forgive him. Thank you.